Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Metastellar YouTube channel. My name is Maria Korolov, and I'm the editor here at Metastellar. And I'm here to tell you that today's uh, best-selling free sci-fi book on Amazon has a man who is the only survivor, um, uh, only human survivor of an alien um, destruction of Earth and its colonies. So stay tuned for that. But before we get to it, we've got nine other books to talk to to talk to you about on today's top 10 free science fiction and fantasy list. You see, every Friday, the team here at Metastellar reads the first few chapters of every book on Amazon's top 10 list. And today I was helped out by reviews editor Mila Lutfi, marketing assistant Lilivet Dominguez-Torres, and community members Sophie Gorjans and Tim McHugh. And Sophie and Tim are with us today. Hi, Tim. Hi, Sophie. Hi, everyone. Hi. And Tim has a new book out. Congratulations, Tim. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, thanks, Maria. So as you can see in the top corner here is the cover art for my debut novel. Uh, just published on Amazon. It's called A Dark and Silent Song. And it tells the story of Barrick, who is a young man and a part of a group of sorcerers called the Guild of Magi. So the Guild of Magi uh, live um, under the rule of the kingdom of Sark. And the kingdom is currently reeling from the death of their king. Um, and when the son of the king takes the throne, he is quickly manipulated by the lords of the realm into starting an ill-fated war with their neighboring country. All so right. the guild is, of course, becoming pulled into this conflict because of their power. And Beric quickly becomes frustrated with the guild leadership's inaction and goes behind their back and works to protect the guild. Um, so if you want to check out a more detailed synopsis, you can check out the link under this video and you can also purchase it in paperback or Kindle. All right. Fantastic. Oh, cool. We're so <laughs> oh, and I bought a copy of the book and I'm reading it and I liked it. Awesome. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, oh, this is so cool. All right. So, um, the link to that book and all the books on today's free science fiction and fantasy list are in the description box below, as is the link to our newsletter, because we do this every single Friday. And if you don't want to miss anything because you want to get some free reading for your weekend, then you can subscribe to the newsletter and get it in your inbox at 5 p.m. Eastern time every Friday. So for those of you who are new, Metastellar is an online magazine of speculative fiction. We publish original short fiction, reprints, essays, and lots and lots of book reviews. And everything is always free to our readers, thanks to the kind support of our Patreon contributors. We love you guys. And I will list them at the end of this video. Um, and um, also we have our, an anthology that's out. And we're about to put out our second one. So very exciting. All right. Okay, so let's get into the books because we, we have 10 books to get through. Okay, so here's book number 10, Dark Fangs Rising by Thomas La Follette. Let's make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. There you go. Uh, the first of nine books in the Luke Iron Tree in the Last Vampire War, an urban fantasy series. The other books are $5 each and they're not in Kindle Unlimited. Kindle, Kindle Unlimited is where you pay 12 bucks a month and you'll read all the books you want. So it is kind of cool. So I was a little disappointed that this book is not in Kindle Unlimited because I'm a subscriber because I read a lot. Um, uh, but uh, I really like the book. It reminded me of the Dresden Files in tone. Luke is a 2000 year old vampire hunter living a somewhat normal life in Portland, except that vampires have started showing up and he's having to go and fight them because that's what he does. And um, all the fighting has kind of broken down his isolation. And he meets a, another vampire hunter and he meets the local tribal werewolves. And um, the vampires figure out that he's around and stage an ambush. So a little tense moment. That's where I left off reading where he's about to be killed by the vampires. But I'm guessing he's not going to be killed because there's nine more books and his name is right in the series title. Um, I like the style of this very much. I like the action. I like the gay characters. The head of the werewolf pack is a lesbian and his best friend is um, a bartender 
um, who's also a gay werewolf. So I really enjoyed that part of it. And I I might stick with it, despite the fact that I would have to pay money for the rest of the books. All right, next we have another book that I read, um, Crimson Sun by S.K. Prince and Sarah Thorne, the second of three books in a Blood and Shadows paranormal romance series. The other books are $5 each, but they're both in Kindle Unlimited. And when I said I, I read it, I lied. I did not read any of it. What I did instead is I read the first few chapters of the first book in the series called um, Crimson something else. Um, Crimson Knight. Um, so uh, the story is that uh, the main character, uh, Scarlet, lost her mother to a monster attack 17 years ago, and now she's a cop. She's a lieutenant on the Paranormal Task Force in New York City, and uh, there's some something bad happening with the city's vampires. Um, the writing style and pacing and action reminded me of the early Anita Blake Vampire Hunter books before she had so many boyfriends that she didn't have time for killing anything anymore because she was dealing with all the boyfriend drama. So there is romance here, um, but from what I've read so far, it's mostly action, police procedural, hardcore kind of thing. And I enjoyed it very much and I'm gonna stick with it. All right, next we have uh, something by Dakota Trout, the first of three books in the Full Murder Hobo, a fantasy series. The other books are $6 each, but they're both in Kindle Unlimited. Um, the protagonist is a leather worker living in a kingdom preparing for war, and he discovers that he's got magical abilities. I liked the humor, the banter uh, in this book, and there's a plot involving a war and magical abilities. It kind of reminded me of the Prydane Chronicles in style. Um, a little bit of The Princess Bride. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it, and it's very, very readable. Uh, I originally thought it was going to be like the Murderbot Diaries, because Murderbot, Murder Hobo, but no. Well, it's it, it's light, um, but it's a traditional fantasy setting, not, not anything like the Murderbot setting, in case you're curious. All right, number seven is Greenwood Cove by Celia Roman. The first of five books in the Shun Sunshine Walking Stick Urban Fantasy series. The other books are three to five dollars each, and they're not in Kindle Unlimited. Amir Lutfi read this one, but um, Sophie, you can tell us about this one. Absolutely, thank you. Um, Amir says that something uh, called a puka taking Sunny's son is the inciting inf incident of this novel um, when he's a baby, and so. Uh, Amira says that Google says that a puka is a kind of Celtic demon um, and that this is where uh, Sunny got into the monster hunting business, which is what takes up um, the rest of the plot. Um, Amira says there seems to be a lot of drama here um, and says that she doesn't like it when characters just start lusting after each other kind of out of nowhere um, and decided based on that that she will not con continue reading. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate it when that happens. I know, not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, we have, let me make that a little bit bigger for you guys. The Umbra King by Jamie Applegate Hunter. The first of two books in the Vincula Realm fantasy romance series. The other book in this completed series is also free today. And Lilivet read this one. But Tim, can you tell us about it? Yeah, so like you said, our team member Lilibet read this one, and she said that if you're into dark fantasy books, you might like this one. The main character is a supernatural fae who has um, supernatural speed, strength, and the ability to read people's souls, which she found very interesting. But this particular character is hell-bent on avenging her sister's death, and she's going down a path that makes Lilibet feel like she's going to become a serial killer. Um, she would definitely recommend this to dark fantasy lovers, but she has to um, put a warning out there that there is a lot of graphic depictions of violence and death. So if you're into that, well, Lilivet says that you should check it out. <laughs> All right. And then we have the fifth best-selling book here on today's list is Eternum by Jamie Applegate Hunter, which is the sequel to that book from before. 
Tim? Yes, and um, since it's the second book in the series, we did not do a review on it because we don't want to spoil the first. But if you're into the romance fantasy genre, this th this one might be up your alley. So check out the first book, or if you read it already, the second book is now free. I love it when like the entire series is free because you can like just get it all in one pop and not have to worry about tracking down the the other books in a series if you like the first one. Yep. All right. Next, we have a book called. Cupcakes, Trinkets, and Other Deadly Magic my, by Megan Siana Doidge. The first of nine books in the Dowser Cozy Magical Mystery Series. The other books are $5 to $6 each, but they're not in Kindle Unlimited. And Amira read this one for us. And what did she think? Amira tells us that main character Jade works at a cute bakery called Cake in a Cup in a magical area of Vancouver. <laughs> Sounds delightful already. I'm in. Um, <laughs> however, uh, a vampire mysteriously shows up and Amira tells us that a little bit of romance might be brewing here. Um, she says that this book is awesome and she'll probably stick with it. So I guess it's not just like senselessly lusting after each other this time. Actual attraction. <laughs> I love cozy magical mysteries. I'm a big yes. fan of the genre. <laughs> they, they make no sense. They're like totally stupid and they're fluffy, but they're just, you know, over when you want some weekend reading. Um, yeah, brain candy. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Perfect <laughs> because it's set in a bakery. So it's nice and sweet. Perfect. The total opposite of this next book, which I started <laughs> reading. Um, so this is The Irish End Games by Susan Kiernan Lewis, a box set of the first three books in a 12 book post-apocalyptic series. Um, the other books are four to five dollars each, and the series is not in Kindle Unlimited. So the story starts with an American family, mom, dad, and their 10-year-old son on a vacation in Ireland. They're, they arrive to this little co cottage, which turned out to be smaller than they expected, when um, there's a nuclear attack, and a whole bunch of cities in the United States are blown up, and they see a flash in the sky, and an EMP blast takes out all electronics, and they're stuck doing little house on a prairie kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, and meanwhile, um, the some of their neighbors help out, but some of the neighbors are kind of creepy and violent too. So um, it's a slow beginning. Um, it's creepy and ominous. Uh, the family seems really nice, but totally unprepared for like farming. Uh, the book is very readable, and if you like stories where an EMP, electromagnetic pulse, takes out all the electronics and people are forced to revert to an old-fashioned life in order to survive, you'll probably enjoy this one. Um, I didn't, but a lot of people do. We usually have at least one EMP book on every one of these lists every week. So, so people like the genre. So if you're one of them, there's three books that you get for free. Okay, next we have The Azure Kingdom by Michelle Dare, the first of four books in the iridescent realm fantasy romance series. The other books are $6 each and they're not in Kindle Unlimited. And uh, Tim, you read this one. Yes, I did. So this is a fantasy book that takes place in our world, but our main character, Allison, uh, finds a key that unlocks a world parallel to ours. And this world is a sort of medieval, fantastical world. Um, and I love high fantasy. I love unique magics in my fantasy books. Um, but what I don't love um, is romance. And this seems to be, you know, very heavy on romance. Um, but putting that aside, um, like right away, my first thought was that this book is very well written. Um, the author is very eloquent with her descriptions of characters and dragons. Um, and um, as soon as... As soon as Allison falls through this parallel universe, she meets this long, um, long sought after knight who she's been having dreams about. And apparently he's been having dreams about her too. And they immediately seem to fall in love. So this is where the story loses me a little bit just because it's a personal preference. But if you are into that thing, I do suggest this book because it is very well written and it seems to be very well thought out as well. All right. Um... Before we get to um, the last um, book on our list, which is book number one, 
I want to thank our um, uh, Patreon supporters, Marie LeClaire, Humphrey Price, Mary Stoll, Alexander Korolov, Avery Parks, Terrence Smith, Brad Center, David Perlmutter, Melody Friedenthal, Anastasia Korolov, and Amir Lutfi. Thanks, guys. We love you. We wouldn't be here without you. All right. And he is book number one on today's top 10 science fiction and fantasy bestseller free list. Day Zero by J.W. Griffin. Uh, it looks like the title is, is Endpoint, but Endpoint is actually the series title. The book title is Day Zero, which is a tiny little print underneath it. And this is the first of three books in the Endpoint science fiction uh, space opera. The other books are $1 to $3 each, and they're not in Kindle Unlimited. And um, Sophie, you read this one. What did you think? I did read this one, and my basic thought runs that the premise is very interesting. As uh, Maria told us at the top of the video, it is based on a premise where this one man, Ryan, um, is the sole survivor of the entire human race. He witnesses the destruction of Earth in a very traumatic, dramatic, very cinematic piece of uh, passage, actually. Um, and then sort of has to go through dealing with that while also sort of like figuring out how he and the aliens who rescue him are going to deal with this continuing threat to the rest of the galaxy. Um, so spacefaring future, we're obviously in the hard sci-fi area, which is like honestly really my cup of tea. Um, the military aspect seems quite legitimate to somebody who's not an expert, um, but the writing style tended to throw me out is how I um, experienced this since uh, the author tends to switch between points of view and time periods quite rapid fire um, in a way that I didn't feel forwarded the story. Um, but if you're more patient than I am and really sold on like hard sci-fi, interesting premise, um, then this may be the book for you, but I don't intend to continue it. All right, so that's it for today's top 10 list. Thanks everybody for joining us. Thank you, Tim and Sophie for um, joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, and you guys check out Tim's new book. Oh, and our anthology. All the links are down below. And uh, thanks everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye everyone. Bye.